Who gives a f- and it's none of your business? Do you know what I mean? What will be will f- be. Stay out of it, you prick. I see Ariel Helwan is out there. Right, and he's posting and he's tweeting. A lot of the time, he's posting and tweeting like he's an expert on everything, but he knows nothing. He's putting feelers out there. Um, but you, uh, sorry, Ariel also is the type of guy to be calling managers, agents, fighters, coaches, sparring partners, because that's what he wants to do. That's his badge of honor. He likes to break news. Do you know what I mean? I'm much like. You or anyone else, I obviously am involved with the sport. I'll be commentating this weekend and I have contacts and stuff like that. But if I hear of a situation, I'm not doing investigative journalism, (laughs) trying to find out like my life depends on it and I will risk everything so I can be the one to break it, you know, because who gives a and it's none of your business. Do you know what I mean? What will be will be stay out of it you prick um but apparently he's been doing that what was the statement from him have you got it right there uh yeah so uh you you want me to read it go ahead All right. Uh, Latest on UFC 303. Around this time last week, all the anxiety surrounding UFC 303 main events seemed to start to dissipate. By Wednesday, no more feelers about replacements were being sent out. All systems seemed to be a go again. Later in the week, Chandler did an interview with The Pivot about it being all good. And on the UFC was promoting on Saturday, the UFC was promoting it again on the ABC Fight Night telecast. There was a scare about the fight being off and the scare appeared to be no more. But since this morning, meaning uh, yesterday. Multiple sources are now saying feelers are being sent out again for June 29th for a replacement and or new fights. In short, there seems to be pessimism all over again regarding the status of the 303 main event. Actually, even more pessimism it seems than on Mondays last week when the presser was canceled at last minute. Is this insurance, due diligence, emergency replacement mode remains to be seen. It is all developing again, but it does appear as though we are out. We uh, though we are out of the woods either way just yet. Okay, more to come and definitive answer one way or another in short order. Yeah, so once again, big long statement, sound like an expert, but no news. Um, so I did a YouTube video yesterday saying, oh, oh, it's back on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And yeah, now they ran a know, promo. It, it looked that way because everything came down, then everything went back up. I mean, the press campus was consoled, the advertisement came off ESPN, the free fights were taken down. Press conference, uh, conference was cancelled. That's one of the big ones. Um, and nothing. And then everything reappears again. Conor McGregor's posting sparring footage. By the way, looking very sharp, I might add. He was looking good. Uh, and, and I was like, if that's new sparring footage, there's nothing wrong with his leg. Now, I was speaking to somebody that does know someone very close to the situation and I'm not at liberty to divulge that. And this person said it was off, and then it said it was on. The reality is I don't know what's bloody going on. I don't think anybody does. And the only people that do is the UFC. So, uh, But I did a video on it, and McGregor looked sharp, and he was dancing around on that leg, and he was going side to side, and he was throwing kicks and all the rest of it, and knees, and he looked sharp. But the only thing, and just to repeat what me and Anthony said, I think, I mean, if it's if it's off... I assume McGregor is injured. But we don't know for sure. We don't know anything. So we're all just bloody speculating about the nonsense, but it's getting close. Anyway, there's no point speculating, right? There's no point doing a podcast speculating if I'm talking shit about Ariel Helwani. <laughs> uh, tweeting speculation, do you know what I mean? We're going to do an entire podcast where we speculate about nothing, to, um, to be fair, yeah. Ariel also did a podcast openly speculating. That's he yeah. seems like he's, he's he's an old West prospector. He's just in the speculation business these days. He's an old speculating son of a bitch. All right, this episode is sponsored by Chuck that specializes in natural testosterone boosters, but more importantly, natural testosterone boosters that work. Look, listen, you see it all the time, guys working out, they eat clean, all the rest of it, but they're not making gains. That's because men's testosterone levels are at an all-time low, and not a day goes by that I see someone that had a bad diet earlier on in life or they've just got low testosterone levels naturally, and they need a little boost to help out their training and to help out their lifestyle. When the testosterone starts to drop, it's the vital ingredient to being a man. You don't have the same energy. The libido drops. It's harder to gain muscle. It's easier to gain fat. So that is where Chuck comes in. 
they have created an all new natural testosterone booster, taking the sports nutrition world by storm. And I prefer Chuck for several reasons. Well, number one, you know exactly what you're getting in. Okay, Chuck are proud to stand above the rest in clean, pure, and healthy products. They use full disclosure labeling, so you know exactly the amount of each ingredient, and they never use proprietary blends. There's no label fluffing. There's no underdosing. All ingredients are measured to exact clinical research, and Chuck Daily is the cleanest research-based testosterone booster available on the market. And along with Chuck Daily, be sure to check out the Male Vitality Stack and the Stack Ultra. You want to boost your testosterone, you want to do it naturally, and you want to do it with a product that works, well, then you got to go to chalk.com, and to get 35% off your order, use the code BISPINK. 